Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. My name is Jesper and this is Maths by Make Noise. So even though Maths is one of the best known and most popular modules out there, it is also one of the modules that is, well, greatly misunderstood if you ask me. Uh, a lot of people just use it for the rudimentary things and it's such a complex and beautiful module out there and of course there are a lot of elitists that say well you only should use it x y and z so what i want to do with this video being the first of a series is well show you how i've learned to use maths and this video will show you a couple of patches that i love and the, the ones that I learned at when I started using this module, which was uh, three weeks ago, something like that. And I will follow up with additional uh, videos with additional patches for maths. But for now, I would say um, this is maths. You know what's going to happen. Here we go. As mentioned, this is going to be a beginner's course in maths. And I'm not going to cover the whole capabilities of maths that's going to be impossible but i just want to show you how i started using maths and what i think would be a great starting point for anyone else as well so first things first let's just start with getting maths running as an envelope right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab something from hermit up there and i'm just going to connect that to maths so we get some information from hermit i'm going to pass that through the buff jarvis for now so that we can get everything patched into the es9 as well so we can actually see what kind of information we're getting so if i grab this you'll see that we get gate information This is the gate information we're getting from uh, from Hermo, Hermit. There you go. So this is quite nice, but how about we grab that same information and pass that through to Maths. So we're grabbing another cable and I'm gonna patch that through to the input of Maths and the output I'm gonna send that straight to the VCO controlling the actual audio. Here we go. So right now, we would only be hearing anything that has to do with the same gate information. So let me just uh, do it like that. Let's grab the information from the owner, let's use that as a VCO. This is the normal information that we get. Let me just patch this slightly different so that we can actually see what maths does. So this is the information that we currently send out. I do apologize for all the cable jumble that you see right now. So this is everything turned down to the minimum. But let's start by opening this up a bit. It's already a bit more musical, right? Let's change this to an exponential one. already 
pretty nice, right? So how about we then use channel number four. So again, just to be absolutely clear, channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. So how about we then start to use channel four as an LFO? So first I have to uh, patch this into my multiplier so we can actually see what we're doing. button so it actually starts to behave like an LFO. There you go. So we've got an LFO there. And that's something that we can use, right? So how about we use this to operate the pulse width mod the pulse width modulation of the owner? isn't it? So we've seen how to use it as an envelope, we've seen how to use it as an LFO. Uh, next thing is I want to show you how easy it is to use this as an envelope follower as well. So let's uh, stop this for now. And let's disconnect all of my cables here. And let's start from scratch again. This is one of the funnest things there, there, there always is. Disconnecting cables, I just love it. Here we go. So, let's say we want to build an envelope follower for the sample that we've got on the owner. So let's first patch the owner in. The output going there and grab the output and getting that into the player there. So there we have the sample. Let's also hear what we can hear from that sample as well. Perfect. So now what we also do is we're going to patch this information into maths. With everything turned down, you're going to see the exact same thing. But now if we turn up the full, We should be able to see an envelope being followed. Not sure why it's not working right now, but of course, because we haven't patched the output from this one. To the ES9. If we don't connect anything, then of course we can't see anything. There you go. Start from scratch. That's the information we have. Let me just change the scale here just so slightly so we can see what we're doing. 
Oh, that already looks quite like an envelope. Something like that. So what can we then do with that envelope information? How about some side chaining? So how about we grab the same information we had just now, which was the drone coming from the owner. And how about we then use that as a piece of information that we want to side chain. So that's the information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that to the VCA here. And I'm then going to connect this one, not to the one output, but to the sum. And I've got everything at zero. Let me just do it like that. And I'm going to turn the channel one all the way there and I'm going to connect this one channel two and I'm going to put that at around well at around a couple of volts something like that and if we then push this we get something that truly resembles side chaining so if we then also grab this one and connect that to the VCA, there you go. Maybe a bit less. Just grab a a clock here. Isn't that great? That's something that we could work with, right? Let's grab some audio there. So what I used was the analog computing capabilities of maths. So you saw how I could build a, an envelope follower with channel one. I then used channel number two uh, to offset channel number one if I turned that negatively. And this is how you build all these beautiful things with maths. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I will recommend looking at loop ups 21 reasons why maths is still the most um, well, popular module and I will recommend so many videos and I'm going to put all of them in the video below down in the description below so for now I would say hope you enjoyed this and um, go do some maths so I truly hope you enjoyed this video and as mentioned, this is not the end all, true all video on make noise maths. Um, I'm gonna follow up with a lot of other videos, but still then, there is so much great collateral out there online that you can review. And I'm gonna link to a couple of them down below. Uh, but still then, if you've got any additional patches, tips, tricks with maths, drop them in the comments, please. And please do that. Um, Another thing is, of course, is go to Discord and find the modules server and find the maths channel and push all of your tips and tricks out there as well. And we truly want to build a great community out there to, um, well, gather all these great tips and tricks. Uh, for now, I would say if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. That's, that'll help me tremendously. And other than that, I would say Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.